be able to do simple and easy effects inside of Photoshop, but that creates good artwork that you can use either as backgrounds for, you know, titles, video titles, Photoshop, photo backgrounds, or as wallpapers on your computer. And today I want to show you this mosaic effect. It just takes advantage of the mosaic filter in Photoshop, but just has a few steps before it to create that background. So to do this and to get some good color in this, I'm going to change the swatches I have here, but the base is going to be the same gradient. I'm going to use a blue color and I'm going to use some preferably quite strong blue colors here. So I'm going to go and grab sort of a dark one here, then I'm going to grab my foreground swatch, use the eyedropper and just click on the background swatch to select that. And then I'm just going to go up and lighter with that. And with the gradient tool selected, foreground to background gradient, which is the first one on the list, I'm just going to draw a gradient over here at, at which any direction that I want here. And when that is, I'm not going to just apply the mosaic filter right away because it'll just create linear gradients from top to bottom instead, or linear banding, instead I want to have mosaic tiles which are divided into smaller, well, tiles. And for that we're going to use the clouds filter. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to go to filter, I'm going to down to render and then difference clouds. Now, so I did miss here, I can't do it because selected area is empty. So I'm just going to fill it with either foreground or background color. So command backspace or alt backspace on the Mac, that would be control or alt on the PC. Doesn't matter which one, because once we go and choose filter render difference clouds, it's going to overwrite that right away. Though using what we have as our colors as the base here. So if we'd want it any closer to white in these clouds, we just select white as our foreground color and then reapply that filter. And different clouds is going to give us some, some interesting effect if you want you can also do clouds in this case. Uh, I'm resetting it to black and white and running the different clouds would give you you know different color artifacts because it's it's basing on the background to do the difference here. Right, so if you don't want that, you can do render and just normal clouds instead. So with that, I'm going to change on the layer with the cloud. I'm going to change this to, let's try overlay first, see how that does. Soft light, hard light, vivid light. These are all good ones to try. Multiply, light and screen, color dodge. Well, I think so far overlay has been the best. I'm going to merge these ones together and I'm going to go to image adjustments and I'm going to go to my curves and this is just increased contrast. I'm going to make a contrast enhancing curve here to just sort of increase the both the color as well as the overall contrast in the image and then I'm going to finish off by going to filter, uh, come down to pixelate, choosing mosaic. And you can do how large or small ones you want. I'm going to do something here in the sort of 18, 15 square area. Right, something like that. And then I'm just going to finish off by going to filter blur. And let's try the surface blur here first. Because that's not going to blur everything. It's just going to blur certain threshold areas. So I'm going to increase my threshold a bit and then play up with the radius. Now that is way too much. So let's see, let's decrease my threshold quite a bit. So I wanted something like, I think this, where it's blur just a little, but not all too much. So if I zoom up, you'll see this is how it's gonna look. I think it's gonna look quite nice as a wallpaper. It's gonna be simple wallpaper or a background, but nonetheless, it's it's a good way of just placing an image on top of here. If you're going to do it as wallpaper, maybe add some text. Otherwise, I'd consider uh, this to be a done background that you can use, again, for video backgrounds, placing um, boxes on top of this, or wallpaper. Just put on some text here, and you're good to go. So that's my simple little background here today that I want to show you. I'm just using a couple of filters inside of Photoshop to create lovely background effect.